All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Reigns and Prophecy from NAV TV, and we're casting the UC against Berserk Fusion X for the DGL Premier Division. What is that, Prophecy? Not much in you, man. How are you doing? We're good. I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. With the uh, Storm Spirit first ban, uh, clearly something different uh, compared to last last game, aka okay, yesterday uh, for BVD Emo versus VNR, where they focused more on the offlaners, uh, aka Tidehunter Clockwork and the Witch Doctor. I think that was mostly banned as well. But this time we see an axe as well as a Juggernaut. Uh, pretty standard for the new meter, I guess. Uh, prophecy. Uh, yeah, I mean, all three of those here is very, very powerful. Maybe the Storm Spirit, not really a top tier ban, but uh, I mean, after what we saw Sumail could do with it, I think everybody's just a little bit scared. I think Sumail is legends over here. I, I think they're in the same culture as well. Uh, hashtag no racist. But yeah, the Storm Spirit, uh, what, what I know is Legend plays a hectic mid. Um, he, he plays a utility, actually, maybe uh, for the type of Storm Spirit. A Queen of Pain, those kinds of heroes, so a good ban, I think, uh, with the studying or the research that comes from Berserk. So, yeah, the first pick, after the Void ban, of course, the first pick is the Sniper. Sniper and Troll are pretty strong, uh, so so far that I've seen in the new meta. Uh, what do you think the counter should be? I mean, they have two picks right now, DUC, and they're already using reserve time. Um, it's difficult to actually say exactly what would be a counter to Sniper here. Um, Obviously, you'd need something that can actually jump on him. So, I mean, th there you go. They, they did ban out the Storm Spirit to protect them there. You could go with something like the Troll, but uh, really, in a straight up one on one engagement, it's very, very difficult to actually straight up kill the sniper, uh, particularly if he does go with those shrapnel. I mean, you're never really going to be full HP, so diving him under the tower is going to be a pretty difficult job to do. So, I think it's really going to come down to whether your supports can rotate well. The sniper doesn't have much mobility, so he's very, very easy to catch out. Um, you're gonna have, so as I said, you, you're gonna need a, a couple of good supports that are gonna rotate on him and uh, just burst him before you can do anything. Yeah, uh, the Scarth Mage and Earthshaker are very popular uh, uh, lately in these uh, competitive games. Uh, but Ventral Spirit is there as well, uh, or any stunner perhaps, just to smoke gang in the mid lane to help your own mid player out to take on the sniper. I mean, as soon as snipers get caught, you can't really escape. And there we go with the Vengeful, it's probably the initiation with the stun and the Wave of Terror. That's probably enough to get some damage in to kill the sniper in the mid lane. Uh, to to go with that, it's probably going to be along the lines of let's say a Shadow Fiend or you know maybe even a Queen of Pain or a Brewmaster mid could you know just outplay a sniper, out tank him, just cast some spells, make sure he stays back, make sure it's our hugs. What do you think is going to happen now for the UC? Maybe a Nick supports actually to be safe. Yeah, um, I actually like the Vengeful Spirit. It's a, it's a pretty nice support. I mean, you can swap the sniper into your range. Uh, I mean, that's usually the biggest problem with the sniper is that. Most teams pick up something that, you know, basically stands in front of the sniper and tanks for him and then he just sits at the back. So, uh, having that, that Venge, you can swap him in into like, you know, all three, uh, three, four of your heroes and then just blow him up before you can do anything. Uh, what they could go with here, um, we have seen the Shadow Fiend pretty regularly of late. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be the best one here. I mean, it, it, look, it does stack armor which will be useful. But we're going to see the Enigma and this is... This is the most common thing, and as we see the line come out as well. But yeah, Enigma is not what I expected for the second pickup here. It's pretty fresh as well. I mean, in the open, you pick up Enigma, clearly being the busher or the offlaner. It depends how the UC is going to run the team, obviously. But it's going to be Zerk's favor right now, uh, having to pick up the lion and not, you know, just just something to pick up before the bans. And I think that the UC, if it wasn't for the pickup, uh, I'm sure they'll be banning that along with the slock. But uh, now that they have a stunner uh, for the radiant side, it's it's going to be so. I would call the sniper and uh, lion a better pick so far, but I, I wouldn't uh, cancel out what the UC is going to bring up for the rest of the lineup. But uh, I think uh, Berserk is definitely prepared. You were mentioning that they don't want anything that can tank or or get into the sniper's range uh, to kill him, and that's exactly what they're banning out. You get the Storm Spirits when you mentioned uh, jumping in. The Axe as well, Blink, Call, easy, easy kill, as well as the Batrider's Lasso. So you were precise over there. Uh, I wonder what they're going to do now. I mean, they can't really just ban out your know, heroes to go against the sniper. They obviously have to think about the rest of the draft as well. Yeah, uh, they are, but uh, there we go, banning out the clockwork. So, Berserk certainly doing a lot of uh, counter drafting here to, to prevent the sniper getting jumped. I don't know if that's necessarily the best idea. It's opening up a lot of other options for DUC here. 
Um, Look, I'm not a biggest fan of the Enigma here, pri uh, primarily because of what I just said, is that they're going to need some way to gank the Sniper in the early game. Um, the Venge can do that very, very well, but usually you'd want, you know, an additional support to help you out here. So, uh, Berserk being able to grab the Lion, I mean, if he TPs in, uh, in response to a gank, I mean, he could very, very well just shut down a gank easily. I mean, you get a, a, um, an Earth Spike in, maybe if you're lucky, stun too, as well as having the Hex, and that can very, very quickly turn around a team fight. Uh, or even, uh, sorry, it can very well uh, turn around uh, an early gank, so I think DUC is going to have to look for some other form of initiation the Enigma isn't available, uh, there is maybe the Puck, but I think the Puck is probably going to suffer pretty heavily in lane, so if they do pick him up I'd suggest sending him to the off lane or something like that um, and that could very well work, but they're going to go with the Medusa um, so that's the hard farmer, I just I want to see whether they put her in the mid lane or um, in the in the uh, position one uh, on the the safe lane, it's, it's going to be interesting. Um, she should do okay against the sniper in mid lane, but uh, I think she might suffer a little bit as the sniper picks up a couple of levels. Yeah, we were also mentioning that uh, Vengeance Spirit can easily go in and swap swap out the sniper to have your your mid player being in range to get a kill. But Vengeful, uh, I'm not Vengeful, but Medusa isn't really the hero or not the choice to call something like that. I mean, if you picked Invoker as a mid player or, or Shadowfiend, I, I would understand more. But yeah, hopefully this Medusa will be in the carry lane. But as you said, the the initiation isn't as strong on DUC's team as uh, compared to the Lion and Sniper already, because as you said, as soon as uh, Enigma tries to, for example, uh, bait out uh, or, or actually try to uh, black hole a Sniper or whoever the tank is, maybe a Bristleback, um, Lion can easily just cancel that with a Hex. So uh, I, I really favor BZK at this moment, but let's see what they have. I mean, so far they still need another support, at least a carry and then an offlaner, but they still, they still have 50 seconds of reserve time, so I think they can just think about it quickly. Yeah, I see. The nice thing about picking up the sniper for the mid lane is that it, it does allow them to go with a somewhat little bit more utility position one. As we actually see the Nyx, so the cockroach is going to come out. That's uh, an interesting pickup. I did not expect that. Um, I think though that they're going to run this as a support. Uh, he's not really going to go into the off lane as he used to back in the day, but yeah, um, the thing about the sniper, as I was saying, it, it allows you to go with a little bit more utility on your position one in the safe lane. Uh, you can go with something like the bristleback. You can go with something like maybe a centaur. Uh, I mean, just very, very tanky cores uh, designed to just you know uh, basically zone the whole of DUC out while the sniper gets the damage dealt. So berserk actually running a nice little strat here. I want to see though how they're going to work with the Nyx. Um, it does give them an additional bit of, um, sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry, it does give them a little bit uh, additional stun in the uh, early game and the mana burn is going to help a lot against the Medusa as we actually see the anti-mage come out, so yeah, Berserk's going a bit greedy here. Uh, it might work actually, um, Phoenix is not really going to be, you know, ripping up the, the off lane and with the Enigma in the jungle just uh, passive farming, I think the AM might actually get quite a bit of space. I feel that the Phoenix pick was brilliant uh, for DUC. I mean, as long as he gets into a team fight or initiates in and starts supernova, the supports, uh, especially the supports, will have to get back, and then they'll create some space for Enigma to, you know, focus on the black hole, where to cast and what to cast. And I, I think that uh, the Lion would be would be stuck in between those team fights as well. So yeah, it, it's much better knowing that they picked up the Phoenix as offlane. But the same goes for BCK as well now. They both have stuns, but these stuns require, you know, like aiming. If you have a little bit of delay, this this might screw your game. Imagine Lion and Nyx Assassin both missing those stuns. What is your team gonna do after that? So they're gonna need to focus on that and hopefully they don't they don't mess up, you know, just protect the anti mage shore. But yeah, just just land those earth spikes, land those impels perfectly. Uh, banning out the silencer and troll warlord while respectively the dire and radiant side. This means that I think that the UC will have to pick the either middle carry right now, Prophecy? Uh, yeah, well, I think it's going to be their position one. Okay, no, they're going to go with the OD. That's... <laughs> okay, so both teams going hyper greed here because Medusa is not going to be doing anything until about uh, 15 minutes in the game. OD probably not anything until about 20 minutes into the game. Enigma is going to be farming. Uh, yeah, so do you see going hyper greed? They, I don't know how it's gonna work against Berserk though. 
Sniper, I think, should have the lane on ODs. He's got enough range that he could basically just pot shot the OD as he comes in to bubble him up. Uh, although, the, the one thing I will say, though, is uh, do you see if they can get a team fight going their way, then I don't see Berserk doing very, very well in these team fights. Um, apart from the Medusa ulti, we have the Phoenix, which is going to zone, and uh, the OD, of course, will be dropping that hammer and blowing everything, whereas the Skywrath Mage comes out. So, an off lane Nyx it is. Flag over here for the for the loading of characters. Yeah, what I see is that's we going to offlaner, I guess. Uh, it, uh, the next assassin going to the offlane. I think the October Mater came out, but it is happening, and we're going to see a level six next assassin early in the game to to make sure that they get those gangs ready. And the mana burn is quite strong, so I, I don't see a Medusa farming that well. But it now it depends on how Hurley is going to farm. But yeah, let me introduce the BZK team and Prophecy will do the DUC team. Uh, it's going to be Bob Quills, aka Vivid, the carry anti-mage, also the captain of the team as far as I know. Uh, yeah, Scrats. Actually, let's do this in a moment. I think it says DC bug. We're going to have to remake the game. Uh, but yeah, let me just try to finish up the BZK team. It's Scrats uh, on the Skyrath page, Soda, the mid Sniper, Bob Eels the Lion, and Hurley, the offlane Nyx Assassin. Um, are, are they going to remake? I'm not quite certain. They're just going to check something quickly. Uh, I'm a bit confused. It does look like we have multiple. Okay, they're already remaking. So yeah, you can catch us in about a minute or two, guys. Let's go.